posted March 29, 2018 19 hours 8 minutes and 23 seconds Farmers have welcomed a review into cutting red tape around national environmental laws, but conservationists are angry, saying they are being denied a voice in the process. Government announced independent review into how agriculture interacts with EPBC Act. The review will commence by October 2019. National Farmers Federation welcomes the review while conservationists feel they are not getting a say. The federal government today announced an independent review into the interaction between agriculture and the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act 1999, EPBC Act. It is important that we get the balance right between protecting our environment and allowing our agriculture sector to grow and prosper. Environment Environment Minister Josh Frydenberg said. But while farmers will be allowed and input into the inquiry, it appears others will have to wait. The Environment Department website states, there will be opportunities for all Australians to share their ideas as part of the next statutory independent review of the EPBC Act, which must commence by October 2019, Mr Frydenberg said the current review built on the 2017 Productivity Commission report which found it could be unduly onerous on a farmer to deal with the complexity of their requirements and actions requiring compliance with the Act. The red tape burden costs fall disproportionately on the farmer. Agriculture Minister David Littleproud said, Family businesses simply trying to manage their land are drowning in paperwork. The review will be headed by Wendy Craig, who is the chairwoman of the Australian Rural Leadership Foundation, and a former executive director of the National Farmers Federation NFF. A final report is due by mid-year, with the government looking to implement short-term actions even before the end of this year. National Farmers Federation welcomes review. President Fiona Simpson said it made sense to have an agriculture-specific review of the EPBC Act because farmers manage nearly half of Australia's landscape. Every day, farmers care for protected flora and fauna species, encourage biodiversity and nurture soil health, she said. But she claimed environmental laws needed refining to ensure the best outcomes for the environment, farmers and the regional communities they support. In some cases farmers can be compliant with the EPBC Act but in breach of a state act or vice versa, she said. In Queensland alone there are almost 18,000 pages of regulations in more than 75 Acts of Parliament. According to State Farmer Group Agforce, it's vital to reduce overlaps and avoid duplication at the national level, Agforce General President Grant Maudsley said. The review comes as rallies are held across regional Queensland this week against stricter vegetation management laws, which farmers say would make it harder for them to grow food. Farmers just want fair, balanced and workable laws from all levels of government so we can grow more food, create more jobs and look after the environment without being strangled in red tape, Mr Maudsley said. Review a smokescreen to weaken environmental laws. The Australian Conservation Foundation said the country's environmental laws oversee one of the worst species extinction rates in the world and tree clearing in parts of Australia that rivals the loss of the Amazon. This review must not be a mere smokescreen to further weaken already weak laws to allow more habitat destruction, it said. About 1,000 matters have been formally referred for investigation under the EPBC Act over the past 20 years and only 10 projects have been knocked back, according to the Queensland Conservation Council. Its head, Tim Seelig, has called the review a one-sided project, designed for the government to work with agricultural groups and farmers to the exclusion of environmental groups and anyone else in the community. When we see expressions like, reducing red tape for farmers we believe it is code for reducing or removing protections for the environment, Drive Seelig said. Topics, Government and Politics, Agriculture, Environmental Policy, Australia.